The body of the Freelander is made of steel. Thanks to double-sided galvanization, it resists corrosion well. The front fenders are molded from impact-resistant polymer, and the windshield is made from another, also damage-resistant plastic, polycarbonate. The three-door body, which has the same base as the five-door, is equipped with a removable upper rear part. It can be made either in fabric, soft-top version, or plastic, hard-top version. There is also a three-door variant with a metal rear without windows, but such vans are not found in Ukraine. Soft tarpaulin folding units and hard tarpaulin fastening locks can make a knock when driving over uneven surfaces. Passengers are annoyed by the insufficient soundproofing of the passenger compartment for a car of this class. Landing on the driver's seat is high, so the review from behind the wheel is not bad. In the three-door modification, thanks to the wide door, it is quite convenient to sit on the back sofa. Three people can fit on it without any problems. The interior is trimmed with quality materials that don't make any noise and on many examples still don't look warm. The trunk is roomy, so the car is liked by those who need transport with a large universal body. The most common Freelander engine in our country is a 1.8-liter gasoline, 117 horsepower, manufactured by Rover. Active drivers think that it is rather weak for this car. Fans of mixing dirt, in turn, complain about the lack of torque. More powerful English-made V-shaped sixes, similar to those installed on the Rover 75 and Rover 825 sedans, are not particularly common in Ukraine. Enough high torque Freelander diesels, Rover, with a capacity of 98 liters. With, until 2001, and the more reliable TD4, 112 horsepower, manufactured by BMW that replaced it. The resource of power units of all types has not yet been developed, although in Ukraine there is a Freelander that has run 200 to 250,000 kilometers. However, some of the engines, especially the 1.8-liter ones, have been overhauled due to overheating. Engines heat up when drivers try to storm serious off-road conditions or drive at maximum speed on the highway for a long time. There are no particularly complex and original components in these units. But serious repairs must be trusted to branded specialists who know specific nuances, for example, the features of fitting liners into the cylinder block or access routes to candles and other systems of the V6 engine. This large unit could hardly fit under the hood, the designers slightly lengthened the nose of the car. Timing belts, together with rollers. On gasoline engines and in a British diesel engine, it is recommended to change after 80,000 kilometers. In a Bavarian diesel engine, the camshafts are set in motion by almost eternal chains. Diesel engines do not create any specific problems in operation. The transmission, like many SUVs, is a transversely mounted power unit, combined with the main gear of the gearbox, 5ST, or automatic transmission, 4ST, or 6ST, a viscous coupling that automatically connects the rear axle when the front end slips. The version with the 1.8-liter engine was not equipped with an automatic. Boxes of both types have not yet caused any complaints from the owners and masters of service stations. They only need an oil change every 60,000 kilometers. The CV joints of both bridges, provided that the anthers are preserved, serve at least 200,000 kilometers. The cardan shaft joints work 80 to 100,000 kilometers, its outboard bearings wear out by 80,000. Fortunately, the cardan can be disassembled, and these parts can be replaced separately. If the unit is not sorted out in time, the vibrations caused by the imbalance of the shaft can prematurely kill the viscous coupling, which under normal operating conditions will last up to 150,000 kilometers, approximately by 80,000 kilometers. The clutch wears out, it is changed along with the hydraulic drive cylinders. Electronic systems that enhance the car's off-road capabilities, ETC traction control and HDC mountain assistant, are controlled by an overly impressive unit. Unexpected failures can occur in it, which disrupts the operation of the all-wheel drive. Then the brain of the system has to be zeroed on branded equipment, which is not available in every, even a large, city. Thanks to the mentioned systems and suspension characteristics, the Freelander's cross-country ability is higher than that of many classmates. The car clearly lacks a reserve of traction on wheels, and, albeit to a lesser extent, this also applies to diesel versions. The suspension of the SUV is completely independent, in front it is a classic McPherson, in the back it is a multi-link. At the same time, the suspension travel is large. This design ensures smooth movement and comfortable overcoming of irregularities. You do not have to pay for this especially frequent repairs. 
the most short-lived parts are the struts and bushings of the front anti-roll bar, barely surviving up to 25 to 30,000 kilometers. At the mark of 80 to 100,000 kilometers, silent blocks and ball bearings of the front end are handed over. Original ball bearings are supplied complete with a lever, non-original ones separately. By 180 to 200,000 kilometers, the rear silent blocks, supplied separately, fail, and primarily not due to wear, but due to the aging of the material from which they are made. All four shock absorbers with a moderate driving style are enough for 100,000 kilometers. Mechanics recalled only isolated cases of replacing wheel bearings before a run of 200,000 kilometers. On the highway, the car is stable and handles well. Parking in the city helps power steering. Experts still consider its rack mechanism to be problem-free, although, in principle, the assembly is collapsible and can be repaired over time. On some machines, the power steering pump starts to buzz after a run of 150,000 kilometers, which indicates its wear, but not the need for replacement. Steering tips have to be changed only after a run of 60,000 kilometers. Experts recommend changing the front brake discs after 80,000 kilometers, although there are owners who have not done this even up to 250,000. The service life of the pads for the average driver is 30,000 kilometers. Experts did not remember cases of replacing the rear drums on the top versions, discs. When buying, it is important to make sure that all ABS sensors are working. They are very expensive, up to $500 a piece, and the correct operation of not only the ABS, but also the ETC all-wheel drive traction control system and the HDC Hill Descent Assistance System depends on them. Freelander is not the most practical or reliable in its class. Its meaning is different, to create an image of non-triviality for the owner and to amuse the gaze of his bohemian environment. And the machine successfully copes with this task. Inexpensive compared to its competitors, the Freelander will definitely get its own over time on the cost of spare parts, repairs, and maintenance. However, who, if not Bohemia, knows any beauty costs money.